guys and welcome to the kitchen. I have a different type of a recipe that I want to bring to you today. It's winter outside, it is very cold outside, and our little birds need a little bit of help. So come along with me as I make a really simple, kid-friendly bird feeder. All right, I have everything set up. The recipe calls for two packets of gelatin. I have this unflavored gelatin. I'm going to use two packages. And then two cups of bird seed. This is just the bird seed that we have. You can use whatever you want. It also calls for two-fourths cup of boiling water. So I'm going to get that going. And over here, I have my cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm going to be putting bird seed into my cookie cutters. Now, Christmas is over, but I don't have any other cookie cutters. So I'm going to use these co Christmas cookies, um, and I, I'm sure the birds won't mind that. I'm going to get a couple of other forms, probably just uh, circles, to put my seed into. I also have an extra piece of parchment paper to uh, push down on the tops of these. So let's get the water boiling. Okay, my water is boiling. <laughs> Dump that in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll open up both of my gelatins. And grab my spoon to whisk around. Uh, I forgot to tell you as well, we need straws. Okay, now we're going to just coat all of this. And you're seeing that okay? I'm going to coat all the seeds until they're well coated. That gelatin is not harmful to the birds, so it's good to use in the mix. It doesn't have a flavor or a color. I actually bought that a while ago for something else. So it comes in handy. Alright, get that all mixed in. And then we're going to put it into the molds. Alright, this is a little bit better. So now you don't have to work super quickly with this, which is nice. Nothing has hardened up, and I've been gone from the camera probably about two minutes. Okay. Just mix that all in very well. Now, you can use gloves if you want to. When you put this in, um, I'm actually going to scoop it, I think. And that'll make it a little easier. These here are rings for my... Uh, my lids for my canning jars. You can use whatever type of a cookie cutter you want. want to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to pour that in here. These are going to go into the refrigerator. I think it said four hours. Then you flip them, put them back in. I will let you know exactly. I thought this would be a really fun activity for the kids. When I was looking up this recipe it said it was uh, toddler friendly and as you can see very easy. The only thing is is that boiling water. You get that in there and you can mix it up a bit. You can have your child uh, carefully mix it. working out at the state park. This is a great idea for the kids this summer. I think I might do that with them. Okay, let's put it all in there. Spread this out into these. I know I'm going to need more seeds in the rest of these. So I'm going to take from here, there, right. I 
think the bird's going to love this. Now, this is where the straw comes in. I'm going to pack these down really good. It's easier to do it with the parchment paper. So I'm going to grab that. Let me rinse my hands. And then grab that other piece of parchment paper. Pat it down. Didn't really need this big either. I'm going to pat it, kind of pack it in. There. Oh, I think the birds will be delighted. Okay. It really doesn't matter what size you have, you can make one big one. But if you have children, you're going to want to make a few different little ones. Now, the straw. What you want to do with this, you to stick it in to make your um, hole to put the string. Be sure not to get it too close to the sides. And my cat coming up here wondering what's going on. Now it says to leave the straw in there. I don't know if I necessarily have to, but I will. And you want to make sure that you get the hole proper. Make, yeah. And just wrap the bird seat around it, I guess. I have a cat coming up behind me here on the counter. No, she's not supposed to be up there. Quincy. She sees all the bird scenes. She's wondering what's going on. Another reason to have these hanging. The cats love birds. Cut that one. Come on. She's over there playing with an eraser. already starting to form. Get to it. Quince, come on now. Come get down. You get down. Okay, there they all are. I'm going to put these in the refrigerator and then I'll pull them out. There they are in the refrigerator. It says to leave them in there for two hours, and then I'll take them out, turn them around, flip them over, and I'll leave them in there for four to six more hours. That's it. Okay, guys, I'm going to flip this now. It's been a little bit less than uh, two hours. So let's see if I can just do this without a spatula. Not bad. Okay, and you see the straw didn't go all the way through, so I think I'm going to just push the straw through, just like that. Okay, and this here is, is where all the gel is. That's pretty solid. There's a lot of jelly in there. Looks pretty. And I'll leave this upside down. Again, push that through. You can kind of see that it was almost through. Just do that to all of them. Now let me know if you do this on your own, if you do it with children. If you're a teacher, let me know if you do this with your classroom. When I worked in a child care setting, I had so much fun. And these type of projects were awesome. The kids love to do this type of stuff. That one there worked really well. That one went through real good. And I am going to leave the straws in here. I don't think I have to. But I'm going to... Oh, right there. There. Just to make sure I can get ribbon through. Alright. Now, it says to leave this in the freezer for three to four more hours. 
So that's quite a while. It says overnight is best. So I'll probably leave it in there for quite a while before I take one out and hang it up. And I'll show you when I do that as well. All right, these here have been in the refrigerator for quite a while, so they are ready. I think that's some of the jelly. So we're going to just pop this out. See how easy this is. This one here is not super easy. I'm afraid it's going to fall apart. It's easy to push out, but I'm afraid it's going to fall apart. All right. Looks pretty good, but look at that. Real loose might fall apart. And pull this out. And there you have it. There's a hole right there. That I'm going to put my ribbon through. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to hang this one up. Let's whoop. well there you go. His head just fell off. <laughs> so much for that one. Uh, let's try let's try this one feels a little bit more firm. Let's just push that out. Well, it's kind of falling apart. So, all the gel kind of landed on the bottom. Maybe I just didn't mix it up good enough. I'm not sure. But we do have some loose pieces. These will go outside though, and the birds will love them. Okay, let's poke that out. Now, let's hope for the best here. Okay, that one seems to, still a little flimsy, but not as much. So let's see if I can put that ribbon through there. Alright, I'm going to get a couple more of these done, shut the camera off, and then I'm going to go hang them. Alright, here we are outside. I brought four with me, and isn't that cute? My husband bought that for me the other day, and it is not going to stay here, but right now it's frozen to the ground. So, I put this one handed. I'll put that right there. Still on narrow, so I should have widened it. And then, like I said, I, I'm holding the camera and hanging these up, so bear with me. <laughs> there. Not bad, huh? Now, this one right there. There, and they'll have their choice. That, that, or that. Oh, it is freezing. 